Yo, what's going on guys? Doing a water spot remover test here. Um, I've heard a ton of good stuff about the Babes brand of boat cleaners and spot removers and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I picked up a, a bottle of Babes spot remover and a bottle of the Peregrine 250. Um, as you can see, my chrome is pretty it's got a ton of water spots from up north, that hard water. Um, I don't know if you can see, I've got some water spots on the boat as well. We're gonna do a quick spray down water test with both of these brands. Um, I've used them both. Um, they, they both seem to remove it. But as you'll see on Babes, there you go. Let them soak for uh, a little bit. Now you just take a uh, just a clean cloth. Uh, the Peregrine actually comes with its own uh, cloth. Come with its own cloth. You just wipe it down. Really, this stuff smells like uh, like vinegar and water. Looks like it got rid of all the water spots. It's pretty clean now. All right, now we're gonna do it to the boat. Really, the only thing I've seen with the babes is um, it removes the water spots, but it seems to leave like a, a sticky residue. Um, I don't know what that is, but. Uh, it comes off, you just have to go over with like a slick mist or maybe other wax, but that's the only thing I've seen. You see that's pretty bad. It's got tons of water spots on it. Spray a little bit on there, let it soak for a couple seconds. Do one wipe. It's gone. All right, so I sprayed this side over here with the Peregrine 250, and I did this side over here with the Babes um, spot remover as well. Um, and you know, I, I sprayed it, wiped it off, let it dry for a little bit, and if you can see here, easy, easy to wipe off. But as you get to this, it starts dragging. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just a wax or a whatever chemical they use in the babes creates a sticky film on the fiberglass. Whereas this, you can just wipe off and ready to go. But there's definitely a sticky film on this. Uh, I don't know. It creates kind of a haze. It's kind of hard to tell, but. It definitely removes the water spots. It's just uh, using sticky residue. All right, guys, that was a uh, just a quick demo on the uh, the Peregrine 250 and the Babes spot remover, water spot remover. Uh, final conclusions are they both work. I mean, they, they're both going to remove the water spots on your boats. Um, you know, on your fiberglass, your metal, your your motor cowling, um, your jack plate, all that stuff. They, they both remove it. The only thing I found was that the babes left that tacky, kind of hazy residue after it dried after like 5, 10, you know, 15 minutes. Um, while the Peregrine 250 did not. Um, it really just seems like both of them are just some sort of a vinegar water chemical mixture. I mean, you can smell this stuff when you spray it. It smells like a high content of uh, vinegar, um, which is a great alternative to any of the products, vinegar and water to clean your boat. They both work. You can do like a 50-50 solution to that as well. So um, check them out. I mean, I think this runs $8.99 at Tackle Warehouse. Um, I think these run 10 or 11 bucks. Um, this is 16 ounces and this is 32 ounces. So you're getting twice the amount in the Peregrine 250 as you are in the Babes. Uh, but they're both great products. Um, 
you know, just try them out, check them out, whatever you guys think. Um, great spot removers. I've been looking for something to get rid of these hard water spots. Take care, guys. Follow us on Instagram, TH Customs. Um, go to our Facebook page at TH Real Tuning and Cleaning. Um, check us out, subscribe to us, and we will uh, talk to you guys later. Peace.